One of the rarest items in the entire game of Diablo 4 dropped yesterday. Crazy news, people doubted it even existed into the game despite all of the dev tweets because, you know, we can take that with a grain of salt for sure. They can say whatever they want. But it dropped people, I mean, we have no reason to doubt it now. The matter of the fact is they're crazy rare and they're probably too rare, we're going to go over that, but some things might have been discovered from this recent pickup of the grandfather and it's definitely worth talking about with seasons i mean being the basis of this game around the corner so let's dive straight into it My Murder Inc. back with the Diablo 4 video talking about the grandfather. What specifically? We have a Reddit thread, as we can see in front of us, of a Chinese player who was in a group the grandfather dropped during a Helltide event. Now, keep in mind on how I said Necromancer. This is going to be very important here. So, the first thing I wanted to do is if you don't know about this item, what does it do? Why is this crazy overhyped? Let's look at it. I know the images are bad. This is just what Blizzard has available. So let's look at it. So first of all, they drop 820 baseline. Thank you. Could you imagine getting a drop this rare before you were in the ancestral like era and it dropped at like 600 IP? So th thank you, Blizzard. There've been a lot of things you haven't done right. This isn't one of them. You did a good job here. This is smart. Now, the other issue at hand is you can see there's quite a few roles. Don't even uh, consider the Doombringer on the left here. We're just talking about the Grandfather. So we have the crit damage on top, which is going to be static 35% no matter what. The life roll can be pretty important. It's kind of a quality of life thing. If you have this, your survivability is through the roof. This is a really good survivability stat on a weapon and why you could say murder we're losing vulnerable damage core damage whatever is good for your kit this is why it's not that bad increases your critical strike damage by if you look at the bottom here 76 percent multiplicative up to 100 so we rolled 76 what does this mean it means it's going to take 76 percent of your current crit damage and add it to itself what so my character in game right now has like 512% crit damage in the tooltip. I'm pretty sure you see where I'm going if I roll 100% in Grandfather as to how insane that would be, even though there are kind of diminishing returns with the more of one stat, even if it is multiplicative that you stat, it's still going to be a crazy damage boost no matter how you look at it. So ignores durability loss. Nice. I mean, ideally you don't want to be dying 24 seven, but it is what it is. Plus four to all stats. This is interesting. And I like this for a few reasons. Paragon boards, the later you get, as good as it is to just stack strength, you need dexterity, you need willpower as well. And I'm speaking barbarian specifically, but this will apply to many classes here. So you're gonna need those extra stats somewhere. And what better place to put it than a busted weapon for anyone that can use its kit, which is gonna be similar to our next point. Now, what I want to talk about first is, let's take a look at Diablo 1, week 1 launch stats. Now, this was quite a while ago. These stats, as we can see here, were as of June 11th, 2023, obviously. So this is just week 1. So since then, it's hard to speculate. I haven't seen a week 2 or week 3, but it's easy to make the assumption that after the first week, the hype died down a little bit. Is the game dead? Obviously not. It's crazy, crazy popular. But this is what I want to talk about because it has to be said here. If on week one, 276 million hours were played, there were 6,263 level 100 players, 163 hardcore level 100 players, most popular class, who cares, death by the butchers, get farmed, including me, I've got farmed before, players killed in pvp monsters kill 2.73 billion parties created 166 million player deaths 316,000. so this is just week one we are well beyond week one this is what 
18 days later, so these stats are even higher. The fact that this is the first confirmed drop rate of the grandfather should be raising a few eyebrows, as it has from the beginning. And there are other rare uniques too that we haven't seen. Players have, now that they've been circulating, people have said, wait, maybe I dismantled some of those. Which is possible. I mean, anyone can say that, of course, but it is for sure possible. So, do I believe these are going to be the fixed rates going into seasons? No. I think, if I had to make a very educated guess, I would say that with seasons, there's going to be a new system with harder content, maybe a world tier 5, maybe not a world tier 5, that has increased drop rates on these super rare items. Do I think super rare items are bad for the game? No. Do I think it's bad for the game that, of all of the super rare items, meaning the Shaco, the Grandfather, ones that people really, really want, there's like three or four total in the entire world. That, that's pretty rare, especially if you want it to be like a chase item, which is the whole point of ARPGs like overall, right? So I do think they need to increase those rates just a little bit more. So this is where the next part comes in that's really interesting here. So as we can see here, first let's compare your stats. You get an 84% roll. And if you're curious about this, I mean, I guess I can just do a side-by-side a -side here. So now we're gonna look at a side-by-side -side of both of these items from left to right so we can kind of see English. I don't speak Chinese, of course. So we have an 820 and it's been upgraded five times. So the stats will be higher overall on the right side. So let's take a look at what he actually rolled here. So we can see the baseline is 2484. When you plus five that, 2740 DPS on the weapon. Now the next roll, I mean, crit damage is going to be solid across the board. This one says 3535. Once these are both upgraded, 52.5% crit damage on the implicit top roll is gonna be baseline. So the next thing we have to look at is the damage, the flat damage increase, which is an additive stat. We don't really care about this, but it does help for sure. So there's a low roll in the picture here. And again, I apologize for the quality on the left, but for his, the one that dropped 69% out of a possible 84, that's not a bad roll at all. That's not a bad roll at all. So the next step we have is maximum life, 2,200 maximum life compared to what he rolled, which is 3,526 health out of a maximum of 4,584. That's a lot of life to be adding to your kit. They might be thinking, Murder, wouldn't you want the basic crit damage, vulnerable damage, strength, core, or close damage for Barbarian specifically? Of course you would. Like, no doubt about it, of course those are the stats you would want. However, with the effect this weapon gives, you probably are going to want some survivability to push yourself even further to the limit because a lot of people are running hp on rings you won't have to do that with a weapon like this or you can do it on top of a weapon like this so i like their design decision to add hp to a weapon this powerful next thing we have is all stats so his roll was 72 out of a possible 108 obviously that's a lower roll but all stats are very important i mentioned the direct impact you can have with paragons for pretty much everyone the higher into the paragon board you go the harder it is to hit those rare notables with very high requirements of dexterity as well as willpower strength intelligence whatever it is for your class and of course you can't use this weapon so i'm okay with this if it was just straight strength i don't think it would have been as good because this takes a lot of stress off of you having to roll dexterity rolls strength rolls willpower rolls whatever you would need for your class if using this weapon now let's get to the bread and butter of this item here increases your crit damage by the displayed one says 76 out of 100 he rolled an 84 out of 100 so 84 of his total crit damage was just re-added to his character i would kill for that you would kill for that for sure now of course there are going to be diminishing returns even though it is a multiplicative damage multiplier for the bucket the higher you get the value is definitely going to drop off significantly so there might be some interesting things you could do with swapping around your builds to kind of drop crit damage on some pieces for other stats don't know the math on that but this is going to spike your crit damage insanely high again i have over 500 percent crit damage because i'm a barbarian so if i rolled like 100 percent on this <laughs> think about that number think about adding 100 percent of my current crit damage to my character 
so that is crazy J just even fathom here so if you had a low roll on this would it have been bad i don't really think so 60 percent is still massive now i get people saying wouldn't it suck to roll the lowest possible roll on an item that literally one person has dropped since the game's been out yeah we went over the how it's kind of stupid to have a drop rate this low but maybe for seasons there will be some increased way to get these items i don't think everyone should have them i would say personal opinion if like a hundred players had this i'd be okay with those numbers but one mm, not so much a hundred i think i think something that rare and this strong should be in the game because this further like promotes the chase if you know what i mean the chase is the backbone of pretty much all of these games and having something that's too common that's rare doesn't feel good rare items feel very very good so if i could make one change to this i would probably increase the critical strike damage multiplicative pool up from 60 to i mean this is going to go against my personal beliefs because like i said 60 is crazy strong but as far as the average player looking at this it's going to be that psychological well i rolled a 40 percent lower than the max so if anything i would say 80 to 100 is a bit op so this might be something very controversial that i'm going to say here but i would probably lower this to like 85 percent max and then just make the minimum 70 to shorten the roll because it's such a strong item I honestly believe that would be the way to make these chase items that much better. You might be getting rid of some of the top end. Do not get me wrong on that point, but it will make the psychology of players looking at this piece, chasing this piece to say, is it really going to worth it if I get 60% out of 100? The answer is obviously yes, but it's going to have that mental effect on people where I'm getting almost half not quite half but 40 percent almost half of the potential that this weapon can give me so narrowing that gap i think if it's too close to 100 i mean the item's already like insanely good so you kind of get my point i don't have to rant on and on about this it's pretty obvious what this does here so now for the important part of the video this is something i want to talk about none of this is confirmed it's been talked about already classes like necromancer and this is what's been speculated possibly have a higher chance of getting this now you might be thinking what does it matter if you have a one in a hundred million chance of getting something why would it matter if you raised it to a five in hundred million chance it probably doesn't but the point is you cannot get any two-handed sacred swords on a necromancer and there is a pool for that on barbarians now i cannot confirm if the rare unique drop rate is all in its separate pool or when it's rolling what item is going to drop as the mop is going to drop an item if they're all in the same pool and the weapon slot is not affecting it at all if it is though and if a weapon slot is picked for what's going to drop it's two-handed sword the chances are obviously going to be much higher if there's a class that does not have a second unique competing with it in the same pool. So what does Barbarian has? We have the Field of Crimson, the um, Rupture Weapon, which was nerfed into the ground here. Maybe they buff it, but when we see it, see, this is the thing. If you're a Barbarian and you've seen two-handed ancestral swords drop all the time and you're like, Grandfather Wen, Grandfather Wen. But if you see this as a necromancer, you're like, this is the grandfather. Oh my God, this is it. We did it. We made it onto Reddit, boys. Like, this is it. So there have been theories going around that if you want to get a grandfather, you make a necromancer and start farming the thresholds that Blizzard has presented with us to get these items. Now, is there an easy way to farm this? No. Anything that tells you new strategy and how to get this is 100% clickbait. You have to do content. You can do content that drops two-handed swords. You can just let it play out with the normal unique drop pool. You can do hell tides. This guy got it from hell tides. Does that mean hell tides has the highest drop chance? I mean, technically, because he's the only one who got it, but realistically, no. It can drop from anywhere within the requirements, which I believe is 
level 85 or higher mobs. So farming the fastest, most dense content that drops level 85 or higher. And if it is a sword type, you're going to increase your chances there for sure. But anyone that says new meta, this is where you farm the grandfather. Complete clickbait, a waste of your time. You just don't even bother with the channel like that. So that's what I wanted to cover. This is pretty cool news. So there are still a few items that we have not seen yet. One of them specifically being, I'm pretty sure no one has a Doombringer. This is one of those items where people are like, I think I've gotten that and just gotten rid of it because it didn't look good, which I don't really know. Lucky hit, which you hate to see lucky hits, first of all, because the chances are usually pretty low in most classes. Chance to deal 5,822 shadow damage in an AoE, reduces the damage done by 20% for 5 seconds. Since it's a lucky hit, unless it's like a lucky hit build using a potion, you can get up to like 70% lucky hit and you're attacking very fast. I don't see it. Not enough people have tested it. It could be really strong. There are, like I said, other very unique ones. Like there are rings that are interesting. There's, of course, the Harlequin helmet. That's, I mean, plus four to all skills. Hello? How good is that? One thing I don't like about the Harlequin, though, is some builds require an ancestral helmet to use. So, like, how bad would that feel if you got this crazy rare drop on a class like that? Could you make it work? Probably. Could you still play your favorite build? I know there are some transformed druid builds, especially some that I play in my alt that, I don't know, I'm not as uh, in touch with druid as I am with barbarian. I would like to get there, of course, with all the classes, but I cannot see how you could make that work. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't, like I said, I'm not a master druid. I'm not a master any player by any means, but it would feel pretty bad so maybe making it so i don't know if you start being able to make these items to swap slots definitely not the weapons but like if you have a required helmet and then the harlequin drops you're probably gonna have to use it if that means you can't play your more fun preference build because of that it's kind of bad design no i think so so that's just kind of my two cents here at the end of the video it, it's whatever this isn't supposed to be the main part of the video but here it is, here's the drop, kind of exciting. We're waiting for a few other rare uniques to kind of surface here. And uh, let's see what to do with the drop rates. There's a lot of time for season one, a lot of posts and patches they have planned to kind of update us as the community as to what we're going to see. So I'm looking forward to it. You should be looking forward to it too. I will cover it for sure. So Make sure if you want to see that, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like the video to boost it so more people can see this, and I will see you all in the next upload.